She reinvented monarchy for the modern age. She was a champion of freedom and democracy around the world. When she saw off her 14th Prime Minister and welcomed her 15th, she was as radiant and as knowledgeable and as fascinated by politics as ever I can remember. And over that extraordinary span of public service, with her naturally retentive and inquiring mind, I think, and doubtless many of the 15 would agree, that she became the greatest statesman and diplomat of all. I had the opportunity to meet her before she passed, and she was an incredibly gracious and decent woman. And the thoughts and prayers of the American people are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. As her 12th Canadian Prime Minister, I'm having trouble believing that my last sit-down with her was my last. I will so miss those chats. She was thoughtful, wise, curious, helpful. Her steady grace and resolve brought comfort and strength to us all. Canada is in mourning. She was one of my favorite people in the world. She was a powerful unif unifying force, a source of comfort and resilience to millions of people from all walks of life. On behalf of the United States, I extend our deepest condolences to our British friends, to the government of the United Kingdom, to the royal family.